Enemy of the People. A powerful drama about principle and politics clashing in the pursuit of truth. Written by Henry Ibsen, adapted by Arthur Miller, and directed by Gisela O'Brien. One of the most frequently performed plays by the writer widely regarded as the father of modern drama. It speaks as strongly to today's issues as it did when it was written 150 years ago. Though Ibsen confronts his viewers with large questions of environment, economy, and human health, his genius is in the portrayal of ordinary human beings who get caught up in circumstances beyond them. Where do we stand when the truth does not make us free, but rather fetters us to unwelcome decisions which threaten our own moral integrity, our friendships, and our family? Gentlemen, there is going to be news in this town. What sort of news? A terrific discovery, Catherine. One that you made? That I made. The whole health institute is a pest hole. It comes down from the tannery up there with a whole damn poisonous mess. It comes right out into the blessed, miraculous water we're supposed to cure people with. Let me get it straight. There's some kind of cockroaches in the water. <laughs> oh, no, not cockroaches. That's the best thing I've heard in my life. Father, you don't understand about bacteria. <laughs> The old banter doesn't believe a word of it. What does he think you're doing? Making an idiot out of my brother. Imagine that. Is it true, Doctor, that you intend to campaign for a better water system? Your little project will come to at least 300,000 crowns. Is that expensive? Oh, don't look so upset. It's only money. You're like a man with an automatic brain. As soon as an idea breaks into his head, no matter how idiotic it may be, you get up like a sleepwalker and start writing a pamphlet. The public doesn't need new ideas. The public is much better off with old ideas. My convictions will change when the water changes, and for no other reason. What are you talking about convictions? You're an official. You keep your convictions to yourself. I have the right to express my opinion on anything in the world. Not about the Institute. That I forbid. You forbid. I forbid it as your superior. And when I give you orders, you obey. You are nothing but a traitor to society! So many people out there on the sidewalk, why don't they come in? I suppose they're waiting for the mayor. Are all those people on his side? Oh, who knows? People are bashful. What are you trying to do with my father? You have no principles. I don't remember asking your opinion, Mr. Billing. I'm not as bad as you think, Mrs. Stockman. Then why did you print the mayor's statement and not one word about my husband's report? Why, nobody's had a chance to even find out what he stands for. The people out there, they're against him already. If we had printed your husband's report, it only would have hurt him. I've never said this before in my life, Mr. Millie, but you are a liar. Somebody responsible has got to take charge. Yeah. There's a big difference of opinion here. Yeah. What makes you so sure if you don't even know yet what I'm going to say? I've got a pretty good idea what you're going to say, and I don't like it. I ask just one word before we start. Whatever is said tonight, please remember the highest civic virtue is moderation. Now, does anyone want to speak? I'm going to tell the mayor right now! He'll <laughs> throw his all in the chat! You want a revolution here? <laughs> all right, gentlemen, let's go again. Quiet down, please. You don't like anything about this town, do you? Admit it, you're a revolutionist, aren't you? Admit yeah. it! I don't admit it! I proclaim it! Uh, I tell you now, I am in revolt against the age-old lie that the majority is always right. We, the people, must declare you cannot say that. I want to congratulate all the liberals and radicals among us, like Mr. Hofstadt. What do you mean radical? Where is your evidence to call me a radical? I believe in democracy. Mr. Zlax, I move that Dr. Stock be prohibited from reading his report at this meeting. Catherine's money? Don't get excited. You can put it right. 
if you should make another investigation of the water. But the water is poison and poison. I am ready to hang for my conviction. Sell back those shares. Give Catherine what belongs to her. I'm a penniless man. Nobody's going to say Morton Keel wrecked this town. You retract those convictions or these go to charity. Morton, when I look at you, I swear to God I see the devil. Now don't get excited, please. I want an answer right away. You hear? I'm waiting. What happened here? Oh, nothing, Papa, I swear. What happened? Why aren't you in school? The teacher said we better stay home the rest of the week. Boys hit him? They started calling you names, so he got mad and began to fight with one kid, and all of a sudden they all jumped on him. Why didn't you answer them? They called him a traitor. My father is no traitor. But you didn't have to answer. You should have known they'd all jump on you. They could have killed you. I don't care. Morton. I'll kill them. Take them off you. The next time I see one of them, I'll kill them. Morton. Morton. They called you a traitor. 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 An enemy of the people. Now through April 30th at Theater Arts Guild. Pond Playhouse, 6 Park Hill Road in Halifax. Tickets available at all participating Atlantic Superstores and at the door. An enemy of the people. Don't miss it. Join us tonight.